Hello everyone, Sigs here, and welcome back to Raft. Uh, we are picking up from where we left off last time. Uh, we had taken a little bit of a break from all of the exploring and progressing of the story islands and working on all of our life support systems, and we took a little detour building this shack here, a little exploration of the cosmetic items that the game has to offer, so that was cool to see. But we are picking it up now with Utopia, you can see just in the distance there, which is the final story island that we have to explore to kind of complete the story of the game. So uh, I've not done Utopia before, so I'm not sure how this is going to go, but that is the goal for this section. So we want to go ahead and get prepared to go. Now, first of all, I know I'm going to need some armor because there are some combat sections coming up. So I'm going to need more wool to make my armor. So I'm going to go ahead and shear the llamas first of all. And let that wool regrow as I do the rest of the preparation. So we get the six wool there, plus we have two left over. I don't think that's actually enough to make a full set of armor. But let's go to our leather chest and let's see how much we can make. So uh, two, four, and three. So I'm going to need nine, so I'm one wool short of a full set, but let's make these two pieces, and we'll just need to wait for the wool to regrow so that we can make our last piece. Uh, but we can go ahead and put this armor on for now. Uh, as far as what else we're going to need, let me go ahead and store these shears. Got three wool left over, so we'll need one more. Uh, now, I guess good healing salve is worth bringing. Let me see. I haven't made any yet, but I think I can. Yeah, it's going to take, ooh, eggs, clay, and honeycomb. So the thing is, I don't have a lot of clay left. Uh, I don't really need it for much. Uh, I need it mostly for clay bowls for making uh, food items, uh, as well as if I wanted to make more beehives, which I don't think I do at this point. I have plenty of honey, uh, but I used up quite a bit of what I had for making cosmetic items. Now, I'm not sure how many salves even go into a stack. I probably only want to bring one stack with me. Um, so let's just go ahead and make like one here and we'll just see if it stacks or not. So I have a lot of extra honeycomb and eggs here. Okay, it does stack to six to seven. So maybe let's see about making nine. Eight, nine. Now I need more honeycomb. One more. Whoops. <laughs> Need another clay. Alright, let's grab one more clay. So we have ten clay left over if we need it to make bowls or something else. And honeycomb's in there, so there we go. Gives us nine healing cells. I think that should be plenty. That's just going to restore my health directly if I need it. I'm um, going to need to bring a couple machetes with me. Don't love the idea of bringing one that's missing durability, but hopefully between the two machetes that should be enough. Uh, we also have our bow for combat and our spear. Uh, we should not need the hook or the axe or certainly the building hammer, but I kind of just keep those on my action bar at all times, so those are going to come with me as well. Um, beyond that, we're definitely going to want our food, so um, we'll bring the full stack of barbecue and mango nana which are going to restore our hunger and thirst bar beyond the maximum, actually, uh, which is going to be awesome so we could stay out for a long time without having to worry about food and hunger. And before we go, we will eat and drink one of each, and then I hope that should be enough. I think I have, yeah, I have some already prepared here, too, that I just have to scoop out with the bowl and the, uh, and the glass, drinking glass, if I need some more. Uh, but that should be good enough for now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this titanium smelting since I'm standing here looking at it so that we have lots of ingots already prepared because we're going to unlock some stuff on this island that we can make with titanium so I want to have that ready um, I grab this seal real quick too just to get some extra drumsticks I can just throw the feathers in here I don't really need them for anything oh there's another seal hiding there oh we got him too Go. Again, just dump the feathers just to get something for them. And we've got some extra drumsticks for food, because like I said, we'll want to top our food up before we 
go to the island here, so... Um, I'm gonna swap out this battery too, make sure that our water pump is going. We can recharge it here for free, which is awesome. And we're gonna wanna top up our water before we go as well. Um, so that takes care of weapons, food and water. I need the armor though. So I really need this wool to finish growing, which it should be done any second now. And beyond that, let me see, I do have a little guide pulled up because as I said, I have not done this uh, Utopia ever before, so it's gonna be a bit of an experience for everybody involved. Uh, I don't need the metal detector. I should bring a shovel because there is gonna be a section with a puzzle that I need to dig for. I can find a shovel on the island though, so I think I'm just gonna do that. Save the inventory spot. Um, I should probably put the healing on my action bar. That's a weird looking thing. All right, so I'll bring that with us. And then, I mean, I guess that's it. You know, I have tools, I have weapons, I'll have food and healing. And I don't think I actually need any other items to be able to get through. So it looks like the wool is done. I'm gonna go ahead and shear these guys real quick. And we can put our shears away and take that and our other wool. Come back to the leather chest and make that last piece of armor which was the leather body armor. Go ahead and put that on. Put the rest of the wool away. And then I think we're good. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I, I don't know what I could possibly be forgetting. So uh, let's top up our hunger just a little bit with the chicken first. And then we can put that away. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Because uh, I want to take that with me and before I go I'm gonna want to eat and drink one of those too uh, let's get this scrap put away might as well smelt the rest of this titanium here or at least as much of it as I can so that that's cooking while we're away now I can leave the cooked drumsticks in here and go ahead and drink and eat, and you'll see in the bottom left there that increased the uh, bars beyond their usual maximum, so that's really good. Um, and now I'm actually not quite close enough to the island, so let's uh, raise our anchor. We can do from here now with our advanced stationary anchor that we unlocked from Temperance. And we can turn the engines on and direct our sail this way and look for where we want to land as we approach here. So, the place we're looking for first, I believe, is called Dedo's Shack or Dedo's Raft or something. Uh, and that's like the first area we need to start at. So again, I have a little guide pulled up here. If we get stuck, I can follow it along. And no, the raft is not on fire. That's just the smelter below, so don't worry. It's probably not. It's probably a health hazard for the llamas, so don't, uh, don't call PETA on me or anything. But uh, we're going to approach here. It is now just the start of night, so I may want to sleep before I go so that I enter with a full daylight cycle because it's going to be a little hard to see at night. I probably shouldn't have eaten my food just yet because now I'm burning through it, and if I sleep, I'm going to burn through even more of it. But uh, let's see. It looks like a little raft there. Is that where I'm going? Um, I'm looking for a green and purple raft covered in dirt piles. Could that be this that I'm looking at there? Looks like the tops of some skyscrapers that are now just poking up out of the water. The rest of the buildings must be submerged. Um, I think that's where I want to go, right there. There's another one over there. I think it's a bunch of little rafts built around these buildings. Is kind of the layout of this place. I think this is where I want to start. Maybe not, but Either way, we can walk up here, and then we can walk around. Maybe it's over there? I don't know. We'll find out. Let's start here, and then we can walk our way over. So, just going to get pretty close here. Probably going to run the raft right into the side, so I don't have to swim to get over. So, we'll steer our way up. Okay. 
Okay, very interesting layout here. All kinds of interesting stuff. Alright, I don't think this is the first area, but it, it should be fine. If, if I can get the corner of the raft right up there. It looks like I'll be able to hop off and then walk around, so... I'm gonna kinda get ourselves stuck here a little bit, but... It'll make it easier to get in and out, I think. So we'll wedge ourselves in here, we'll cut our engines off, and drop our anchor. Should be good, hopefully good enough. Um, all right, I think we're good. So again, it is nighttime, so it's gonna be a little hard to see, but um, bring some extra water with us. We already have enough food and water just from that. Let's get the machete on the action bar. So we're ready for combat. And let's head in here. So hop up just like that. I'm gonna quickly check for any items. Probably a good amount of items that I can collect as we go through here. And we are looking for Dedo's Shack. Or something like that. So not here. That is... I believe this is like the prison. There's a note and an entrance key. Yeah, you can hear the people in there. They're all locked up. So the goal is to free all of these people. From the people Let's read this note. Hear what it has to say. Trust Olof Wilkström. When he arrived here, we took his word in good faith. He exploited us at every turn. Now all of us, the centers, are locked up, which is everyone by my count. To anyone reading this, Olof should be up in the marketplace. Beware of his rabbit beasts. Please take the master key from him. Set us free. Set Utopia free. Okay, so that's our goal. It's to find Olaf and find the key. There's some... Oh, these are boxes that I can stack to be able to climb up. Um, I, oh, jeez. That scared the heck out of me. Okay, so this is an... Oh, to the bunch of them. Hang on a minute here. Hang on a minute here. Uh, yeah, this is a new enemy type that I haven't seen yet. Oh, vending machine coin. Uh, hyenas, which, as you can see, very aggressive, and if they grab a hold of you, you have to hit them so that they let you go. So we're going to chop at them with the machete. Hopefully not miss too many times. Okay. Looks like a good source of uh, leather and meat, which is nice, but pretty deadly animals, so i got to be careful about that. Um... I'm still looking around. Yeah, I need ca electrical cables to connect all this stuff. This is one of the electrical puzzles. I go for a little swim. We're gonna hope there's no sharks or anything creepy in the water. And jump up on this side. Okay, I think this is where I wanted to start. So, I believe this is Dedo's raft. So let me check here. Um, approach the main building to find a fresh shovel. And a useful map of the raft. So let's see. Can I get up here? Yep. Okay, so here's a shovel. That's why I didn't bring one. And a note. There you go. I have my own raft, and it's hooked up to actual wind turbines. If I had even more power, just imagine all the experiments I could run. But now that lunatic Olaf appeared, his cages are already unloaded, and now he's promising to help everyone with his army. Last I saw him, Olaf Wilkstrom ruined Caravan Town. I will never forgive him. I hope Han and Riven listen to me. He's not to be trusted. Just in case, I decided to up the security on my raft. This map should allow only the smartest of people to enter. Like me! Okay, so let's hope we're among those smartest people and we can figure out the puzzles. So we're looking for the harpoon and the carbon dioxide canister to get us over there. And if we look at that map, let's find a little shortcut down here. If we look at this map, you'll see it's circling some of these uh, dirt piles. And if I dig the correct ones... I should find what I need, but apparently if I dig the wrong ones, it'll make bugs pop out that I have to fight. So, uh, I think the first one must be this one, right? So this is the, the building, and the structure, and the one in the left of the structure. It's gotta be this one, right? Uh, there we go. Got one part of the puzzle. 
And then, next one, let's see, I guess in this back corner over there, back left corner by the dock, looks like. So... Oh, I thought it would be like over there. So we came this way, oh, so it, yeah, it is. It's like over, let's be in here somewhere. So can we hop up here? Yes. And then it should be this one, right? Sure is. So there's the other code, and then the last one is going to be over there, kind of bottom left of this building. I guess this one? No? Made bugs appear. Can I fight the bugs? No, they don't do anything. Oh, okay, they do hurt. I was going to say. All right, they do hurt. Uh, let me see where I went wrong on that one there. Oh, yeah, bottom left of here. So, this one? No, this one. Yes, okay, cool. All right, so we got our three codes. That's the first part. Let me, uh, I gotta rotate all this. Let me figure out what exactly it is that we have to do next. So, next thing to do, uh, we got the three codes to get into the building, and then we'll need to find the... Okay, so we want to go into the building here. I assume it means this building. Let's go in here if we have the code. Boom, boom, boom. Doors open. Cool. Now, I got some stuff in here, so some items, some free items. Why not just grab that since we're here? <laughs> Rocket ship. That's interesting. Uh, some coins. There's the harpoon that we need. We're going to need the carbon dioxide canister as well. Uh, and then lastly, well, there's another coin and another crate. Uh, here is the blueprint. For the big backpack so that's awesome having more storage is going to be really nice especially for exploring this section if we're away from the raft for a long time and we don't want to leave any items behind so i think i'm going to quickly run back to the raft and make that big backpack and just drop off these items i'm going to shovel here might as well pick that up we can leave that on the raft too um and then we'll come back and do the rest of this puzzle so pick up any items I see along the way since we're heading back to the raft to stash them. And then let me see if there was like a shortcut back to the raft. It was over here, right? If I go this way, the raft should be like right over there. Unless my sense of direction is failing me, which is quite possible. But I think I came, yeah, came from this way, so. Gonna take a nice little stroll back to our raft. There it is. So I think this is where we jumped in. Yep. Uh, simple fish stew recipe. I don't remember if that's one that I had or not, but looks like it was, so that's fine. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and just store all this stuff real quick. Dump it all away. Food stuff goes in here. That's food. That's food. Now, I don't need that spear on me. That can go in the tool chest. Shovel can go in the tool chest. I don't think I need this shovel again. I'll just keep it with me just in case. I'm about to make a big backpack anyway, so I'll probably have the extra room if needed. Uh, I can also put the meat away in there. And then the special hyena head goes in there. Uh, stone goes away. Quickly get rid of this rope. And our fruit lives back here, and there you go. So I can drop the blueprint. I don't need the blueprint to be able to craft it. I just need to have picked it up once, and then I can learn the big backpack there. And I'm going to need some more wool to make it. I forgot to put the leather away too, but uh, let's go ahead and harvest our llamas one more time. 
There goes the shears. And thankfully we brought another one. There we go. Take the wool. Just need 10 plus the leather. So let's go into our leather chest and see about the big backpack. There you go. So I'm not sure if I can... Can I equip the big backpack and the regular backpack? No, it's just one or the other, so... Uh oh Well, I guess I can't swap it out because I have items already in there, so if we... Yeah, can't put that on. That needs to come out, and then the big one goes on. Okay, boom. So there's a one extra row compared to the regular backpack, I guess. Is that right? I know I was literally just looking at it, but I'm curious, so... <laughs> humor me. Yeah. So just one extra row of five items. So I thought it was going to be two extra rows, but I guess that would just be crazy. So um, that's still cool. And I don't really know what to do with this backpack now. I guess I could just get rid of it, but we'll just hoard it along with the rest of our items in there. Um, and there we go. So clear inventory, extra space. And now we can head back and do the next puzzle. So let me make sure we're going to go back to the right spot. Okay, so next up, uh, I think we got everything we needed from there, so now we need water and power, so we gotta fix the irrigation system. We're gonna go look for large power cables, and do something, and then drag the cables over and do some zip lines and stuff, okay. So I see roughly what we have to do. I do have like a step-by-step -step guide. If I get stuck, I can figure out where I'm at and like literally read and go through step-by-step. -step. But I think for now, we'll just go and have a look and I think we can figure it out on our own. Uh, thirst and hunger are starting to get a little low now, but I do have more with me, food and drink. So if I get too low, I can go ahead and eat those. In the meantime, I'll wait because we're not really that low. So I think, yeah, I think this is the next area here, this big generator this platform that might have some more hyenas on it. So, there's all these um, buildings here that have locked doors and I'm not able to open them as far as I know. But I can uh, pick up and stack these crates and then jump up. So, let's see if that works. Yeah, I can only, I can jump exactly two crates tall, like that, and then, hmm, I wonder which roofs are worth going up to, um, so let me see, if I do one, two, one, two, then I could do one, two, three, four, some more coins here, so one, two, three, and let's find one more crate somewhere, here we go, another crate, can go there. Now I should be able to go there to there, up to there. Ooh, not quite. Uh, let's see if we can't find two more crates. Looks like there's a bunch of them over here, so can I only carry one at once? Probably. Yeah. So if I do one here, then I can do one, three, five. Another one here. And that should be enough to get me up there, so... One... Whoops. Oh, no, I need two more, because I'm dumb. <laughs> one, three, and then I need one more to go to go five high. Let me just take a peek over here real quick. Eh, there's nothing back there. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I hope that's the right area I'm supposed to start at. If not, I think I have to go there eventually anyway, but... Probably should have checked... Make sure I don't need these crates somewhere else after stacking them up this high, but... That seems like where I'm supposed to go. Some zip lines from there. Yeah, that seems about right. So, uh, one, three, and five. Now I can go up here. And from up here... Whoa. We can uh, get some electrical cable, which we're going to need to drag the cable to the various power points. Um, but first, I think I'm going to want to go explore. So can I take this zipline? I can. 
I jump off at just the right time there. Um, okay, so here's some cable. I can drag the cable from here, I guess, down to the generator. But I do also see there's more cable down there. Why don't I drag... Oh, that's a coin. Why don't I drag first? I assume it has to go here. Yep, to the generator. And then we're going to have to make a couple more trips here. I guess we're going to have to do... Um, I guess I could have maybe... Hello. There we go. I guess I could have maybe placed the crates here to just jump right up, but... I think this, with the zip lines, gives us access to just about everything, so I'll do one trip this way to get that cable, and then another one, I guess, down in here to get this cable. That I can actually open up from there, and then we can go up here to get this cable. Okay. Can't open any of those doors. So, let's go back up. And this time, let's go this way. So, ride the zipline. Jump off. And, check up on this roof here. Hmm, maybe with this crate? Actually, I think you can't... Oh yeah, you can jump while you're carrying the crate, so... Let's see. I might need both of them. Or I might... No, eh, I think I need them here. If I put the both of them there, can I get up here now? Oops. I can if I'm careful. There we go. Aha. More cable. And another coin, which is cool. And if I come back, I think we want to run a cable. Uh, I had assumed over to this generator, but maybe it has to go to that one instead. Not quite sure. Looks like there's another one over there that maybe wants to go to that generator. So let's see if this cable will reach this far. Nope. Um, hmm. Okay. Is there another generator somewhere that I'm not seeing? Let's see. I assume if I jump in the water, this is going to not work. Oh, it does. Interesting. Whoops. Can I even get out here? Uh-oh. There we go. Is this one going to reach here? No. So where on earth does this one want to go to then? Oh, you know what? I think it wants to go over, maybe, to that other, that other, like, fuse box, and then from the fuse box back down? Does that make sense? So let's see. Um, I'll need to zip line, which I think I can't do while I'm dragging the cable, unfortunately, so... We'll drop it, we'll zip line. We'll start dragging again, climb up, get this coin up here. Now this should be able to go to here. There we go. And then we can drag it from here down to here. That makes sense. There we go. So, I don't know if that's everything that I needed to do. Looks like there's more crates here, so I'm... Woo! Jesus! Sorry. That, <laughs> that scared the heck out of me. <laughs> I was not expecting... Oh, come on, hit him. There we go. Ooh, I just came around that corner and saw something charging at me. It made me actually jump in my seat. Sorry if I screamed loudly in your ear or anything. I was not... Uh, not expecting that. Um, Alright, we can get a coin from up there if we bring a crate up with us. There's another cable, so there must be something else to do with the cable, perhaps? Why don't I quickly grab that coin? Can I climb the ladder with the crate? I can. Set that there. Should be tall enough, yep. And then, is there anything? It's getting dark. It's really hard to see now. Whoops. I don't think there's anything down in there. I don't think there's any reason to walk all the way out to the end. So I can probably take this crate back. And just see if there's anything on the other side of it. Nope. All right, let's grab the crate. I just saw another coin. Right about. <laughs> Can't see it because I'm holding the crate. Uh, there we go. Got it. All right, cool. Um, yeah, let's see. So there's another cable there. I grab that, and I see a ladder here, which I think just leads us back up to this area. Yeah. So, is there anything up on this other roof? Do I need to bring crates up here, maybe, to try to get up on the roof of this? Is there, like, a way in? 
Any reason to do that? I'm not sure. Um, is there any other electric thing that I'm missing? Wasn't there... Did I have to drag a cable from over there, too, I think? Why don't I do that first? So let's head back in the water. Jump up over here quite painfully. There we go. Now, hopefully our crates... Yeah, they didn't reset. They stay stacked, thankfully. We can go up. And, yeah, up here. Yeah, I gotta drag this cable somewhere, too. So... Maybe over to that one? I think that would make sense, right? Because I don't think it's gonna go far enough to reach on its own. And I'm not able to zip line while I'm dragging the cable, so I'm gonna need boxes to jump up here, I think. Wasn't wasn't able to do it on, on my own before. No, I'm, I'm gonna need boxes, so... Um, I guess I could take these two. That might be enough. So how's this going to work? I guess there, and then I'll need one more on top of it. I hope I don't need the boxes from the far side. I don't want to walk back and forth and back and forth. So hopefully this is enough to get me... Ah, not quite. So I'm going to need at least two more boxes. And that, is that even right? Because if... Oh, you know what? I think I can just go up this way, right? Since I got that door open now. Maybe I don't even need to do that. So, let's fail at jumping up boxes, but then succeed at jumping up boxes so we can get up here, drag the cable. I don't think it, like, snaps or, like, untethers if you get too far away. It just turns red, so... I can do this. is isn't very doesn't make sense logically that I'd be able to like drag the cable down and loop it around and up if it's only this long and then it magically just appears up here with me. Kind of strange, but anyway. Uh, there we go. Now this is powered and that is powered, right? I don't have to like turn it on or anything. Do I have to do something to it? Oh, I have to drag a cable from here to where? Couldn't be over to this one. That's way too far. Um, hmm. I have to follow. Ooh. Maybe from there to the water pump here? Let's see. Requires electricity. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. So. Um, hmm. I thought I'd Oh, you know what? I think maybe the last thing I have to do is connect this one up here over either to this or probably across like that. Um, hmm. Yeah, because this isn't going to go... Huh. So from up there... Okay, so let's... Do oh, oh, God. <laughs> I'm a disaster. <laughs> Didn't mean to fall off. So let's zip line first. And then let's jump off. And then can we run the cable? Yeah, from here. It wants to go up there, I think. And then that completes the circuit, I would imagine. So let's go like that. Jump, jump, jump. Boom. Hey, there we go. See the electricity going now all the way from there over to here. And then from here, it should be going up through this cable, I would imagine, down into the water pump. So let's see. This doesn't say requires electricity anymore. So I guess it's working. Uh, so let me see what we have to do with this puzzle. So, we need to uh, skim through everything, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we have to go to the large blue circles and rotate the pipe so that the water can make its way through. 
Okay, and then we get the carbon dioxide thingamajig. So, okay. All right, well, thirst is low. <laughs> let's drink. And let's go ahead and eat one of the big foods. Our thirst is fine with the canteen for now, so I'll hang on to the mango nana, but... Um, all right, so I want to rotate these things here so that... Okay, I guess I need these inner ones to line up somehow. Like... Like what? Like this? No. I just keep slowly spinning it until I hear something click. Uh, I mean, that looks about right. Because then this one's coming out and going through there. This one's not quite reaching, though, but I don't know if it needs to. I think it's maybe just the one. Yeah, because that doesn't go anywhere. Oh, oh, there's three rings. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. I thought there was like three separate big blue things, but uh, it's just the one. Oh no, see, there are more of them. I am much, much confusion right now. Okay, so let me, <laughs> let me see. So it all needs to go to this water tank here. Grab this scrap. So it's mostly this pipe here that needs to have something going into it. I guess that one to start. Which will go to this one, which will go to that one, which comes out here, which goes through there, around there, not to here. That does not help me. So, let's try, I guess, a different one. Could be this one, because if this one goes here, then this one can go there, which can connect to this one here comes out here, which goes out there, which does not help. So it could be a different one of these rings. So let's see. That one doesn't look good. That one looks like a maybe. So again here, it goes to there, goes to this one, goes out to this one. That doesn't do anything. So let's try that one. Go like here, we'd follow that hose, again does nothing. That looks promising, if that one goes to that one, nope, that doesn't work. So I need, I mean I need, I need something on the intake anyway, so I'm being kind of stupid. Um, so I'm gonna have to rotate this again. If we find the one where there's something going into both of these, Huh. Is there even any on the outside? This is the only one on the outside, so... It would have to be... Right? It would have to be that one. But then there's nothing going to this one? What am I missing here? Is it not that? I am so freaking confused now. Because there needs to be one with two on the outside because it needs to go out there and in here, so there needs to be an opening there. Oh, duh. So, like, this and that. Okay, but that doesn't line up. <laughs> All right, so this one, there we go. There, that's what I was looking for. This one and that one, now I just need to connect. That looks right. And then this one just needs to go which one is it that's going out? This is out, which is this one, which is that one, which is this one. And then the in is that one. So it's these two. That one comes in, does not go out. It's these two, yeah. So like this and that? No. No. Maybe? That goes out, around, through, over, back, through, around, over, and out. Okay, that one's done. Holy cow. Alright, at least I understand how it works now. Probably pretty painful for you to watch if you 
are better at solving puzzles than me or if you already knew what the answer was, but um, just one more ring to do, I guess. Just looking, I thought I saw an item there, but I did not. All right, so same deal here. I'm gonna need to rotate where it goes in and then comes out there, so let's keep going. That's out, that is not in. That is out and in. So then, there, no, this one perhaps, no. This one, that looks a little more promising. Yep, like that. And that does not work. Um, let's keep rotating. That, no, I guess I could, I guess if I rotate this one. So we're gonna need, where's this one? This one goes there. Yeah, but then that doesn't line up, so... There. And that doesn't line up. So... Uh, there. And that does line up, so now all we should have to do is spin the middle. Did that do it? Looks like that did it. Yeah, there's water coming out there now. Goes out. Oh, no, don't tell me. There's another wheel. Oh, no. Alright, so... At least we kind of know what we're doing, so... I'm gonna line it up so that this outside wheel has one going into both. Nope. And keep rotating this way. Try this one. Yep. So then the next, I guess, could be like here. And then, ooh, that looks, that looks right. So now I should just have to spin this. Not that one. Is that it? No. Now it needs to connect with that one. Is that it? I guess not. That's gotta be it. Yeah, okay, there it goes. Now the water's going through here, yeah? You can see it kind of pulsating. And that's going into this one, which we already solved. So that's going, and this is filling up. Hopefully. Let's see what that does. Ah, it's gonna push the carbon dioxide tank up to the top. So there we go, now we got it. Um, some more extra items there. So now we have our carbon dioxide canister and our harpoon, which I think means we're good to look under here for some extra items, because I just noticed this. Whole crate, whole bunch of stuff. I don't need that recipe. I don't really need most of this stuff at this point, but I always feel bad leaving free items behind. Um, but after our mild distraction there, that should free us up to go up to the top and fire that harpoon, I think, is the next step. So let's head up here. It's going to fire right at that X, I think. Stay on top of my thirst as well. Okay, so let's fire. Oh. Okay. So we can zip line down there now. Let me just read ahead a little bit here. So, um, we got the entrance key. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Platforms. Puzzles. Alright, let's just go and see what happens. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, doke. Alright, so now we're in here. I get some extra items. A broken elevator I don't think I can do anything with. There's the other entrance key, so we got the one. 
Now we have two of them, which I think is as many as we need. Can't do anything here. We'll just get this crate. Some more items. And I see another zip line, so we can. I guess we have to go out and around carefully. And I guess that's all we needed there was just the key. So all of that, all those puzzles, just to get the key. Aha, and that brings us right here, where we want to use the entrance keys. Where is our raft? That's the... Okay, so our raft is like over there. Just want to make sure I know roughly where we are. Uh, now here's an elevator, so why don't we go on the elevator? I don't know if we want to go up or down, but... Let's just start going this way and see what happens. Uh, let's see. Oh boy, okay. So we went up. Da, da, da. Just reading here real quick. Got the key. Got the elevator up. Okay, we need to do some like cogwheel puzzle. There's a vending machine to token here, the guide says. That's nice to know. Uh, we need the hammer, the wind turbine. There's nets. Okay, am I reading this right? Head left to, sp to, the, to spot a locked door that I'll need a hammer to break into. Go up here, maybe? Yeah, so I need the hammer for that. Um... Player should use the nets to quickly return to the market entrance and then break the lock with the hammer. I need to jump over the wind turbine blades to continue to get to the other end of the moving platform. So that must be this. Now this could push me off if I'm not careful. Okay. It seems to have worked. Oh gosh. I'll do it again here, I guess. What do we crouch under these? Oh, and quickly jump, and then crouch, and then crouch, and then jump, and then jump, and jump. Lots of jumping, and crouching, and jumping, and jumping. Oh, God. I almost got pushed off there. <laughs> Oof. All right, I made it through. I can crouch again. And what the heck are we doing here? Oof, jumping up. Jumping, jumping. Whoa, whoa! Oh no! Don't tell me I have to redo all of this. I didn't think I was gonna get pushed by that one. Let's see. Is there not another little secret way up here? Is this crate not meant to let me jump back up? Um, alright, well, thank God for the nets, I guess, but I'm gonna have to go back up and start from here. Alright, so we don't have to go all the way back, which is nice, but still, minor setback. Jump, jump, let's not be too hasty. Three jumps and a crouch, and then, woo, woo, woo. Jump, 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 crouch. Okay, what am I even looking at? Alright, there we go. Back to here, stand up, and we jump, and then we go. Oh no, oh no, oh, I tried to go early. I was overthinking it. Oh well. Alright. Let's go back. We got it this time. I promise. Crouch. Jump. Crouch. Excuse me. Still getting pushed even though I'm crouched. Thank you. What the... <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It's beginning. Oh god. The hastiness. The trying to save a half a second. It's costing me minutes, so let's just do what we need to do here. Go very slowly, we'll crouch, we'll wait for that one to go overhead so that we can safely jump. We'll jump, we'll jump, we'll jump, we'll crouch, then we'll jump. Oh boy. Oh no, don't get pushed off, please. Crouch. Okay. Back over to this spot. What the? Oh, come on. That one, that's just annoying. Because you can't uncrouch unless you walk far enough forward, and I was just inching forward so that I would uncrouch, and then I just fell. 
before I uncrouched, so I mean, what kind of design is that? Oh boy, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, here we go. A little, little more focus. Let's not waste everyone's time. Let's do the very easy puzzle. One more jump there. Okay, good. Alright, so there we go. We're up. We wait. And then we go. And then we're good. Now, what the heck do we have to do here? This one seems tricky. So I'm going to get all the way to the edge. I'm going to wait for it to go overhead. And then I'm going to uncrouch and then jump forward. Like that. And then we crouch. This one's moving very slowly. So, wait for it to go overhead. We go up. We crouch. Same deal here. It goes overhead. We go up. We crouch. Now, am I good here? No, that's still going to push me off. So I got to go up. Ooh, and quickly jump over. Okay. Made it. Nice. So that was not difficult at all. <laughs> I'm just playing poorly. But uh, get the hammer. That's what we wanted. And then there is an elevator. But we need a cog wheel to fix this. Now, I think it says to just go back with the hammer. Let me make sure before I jump down and have to redo this whole section. Um, elevator needs a cog wheel. So we should use the nets to quickly return to the entrance and break the lock with the hammer. So, all right, let's go back. Let's see. Whoa. I'm trying to remember exactly where it was. This is where we came out. So it was up here on the left. Hammer. Boom. Oh see my this lord! Once. Hello, Olaf. Leave on your raft. Leave Utopia to me, or else the forward scouts end with you. <laughs> that would have made this whole thing a lot easier, huh? Um, all right. Well, now we're in this whole big puzzle room. So let's jump in. I got these boxes. This is all very confusing to me. So uh, we're going to have to use these crates to get around, I think. And then I think what we have to do is get certain weights on each one of these to make the elevators go up or down, basically, based on, you know, like a scale. Use, that doesn't do anything. Um... All right, let me uh, let me drink before I forget. And then I know it's all written down right here, so if we just take it step by step, okay. It says use the red stripe boxes to climb the purple and blue crates next to the right platform. So that must be that. Up here, up here, one more, oh, one more there. Okay. Place the cogwheel on the right elevator. Oh, I gotta pick up a cogwheel. Grab the cogwheel. Oh, I can't jump. Oh, but I can set them down and then pick them back up. Okay, it's a little silly, but. I didn't put it far enough. Guess that works. Okay, so... Place the cogwheel on the right elevator. Oh, there it goes. Next, take the long ladder on the left all the way to the top. Long ladder on the left all the way to the top. Use the weight marked with a three. Oh, there it goes. After the elevator drops, use the one weight and remove the three weight. Use the one weight and remove the three weight. After the elevator drops, use the one weight and remove the three weight. Okay. <laughs> so, does that mean here? Okay. 
Use the one way. Oh, nope. Go back. Oh, no, no, no. I think I had it right. Use the one way. That makes it go down, and then I can remove the three weight from there. Whoa. And that lifts me up here. Jump across, grab a cog, and use it on the drawbridge that Olaf ran across. You sure about that? That doesn't seem right. Um, can I reach it from here? No. So the cog wheel has to go into here. It's a coin. Okay, so follow, now that I understand how this works, following this guide actually uh, doesn't seem to be right. Maybe I'm not reading it right, but all I have to do is get this over to that level there. So I should just put the one one weight back on, right? That's the three and the four. Two, here's the, uh-oh, where's my one weight? Oh, I don't want the two on either. I want the three weight on. Okay, so it looks like it needs a total weight of two, right? Whoops. So the one weight... I guess if we take off the three weight, now I can go put the two weight on? So put on the two. And then we go and we take off the one, and that should, yeah, put the cogwheels at the right level. Alright, so whatever I was reading was wrong, but that was easy enough to figure out, I guess. Uh, put the cogwheel in, that drops the drawbridge. And then next, maybe I shouldn't even follow this guide. It's time for another cog puzzle. Oh the lord. Filthy rafters oh lord. <laughs> okay. Um responsibility was the only decent thing I could do for them. I don't believe how ungrateful all of you are. Where are the cog wheels? Is it up here? This is leading where? This is leading... Whoa, don't fall. This is just leading back out somewhere, I guess? Get an extra coin here. I don't think... Don't think that I can open this door. Yeah, locked from the other side. Ah, so that's where I need the cogwheel to get. Okay. So this we can figure out. So. Second cogwheel puzzle. Basically, you need to get that lift up to this level here. Where, does, where do I get the cogwheel from, though? Am I going to have to go back to this other room to get one, I guess? Okay, I guess that's easy enough. So, oh, I could have taken that one, too, maybe. But bring the cogwheel over, place it on there. Now... As far as this other one goes, I'm going to have to go all the way to the top, clearly. Just make sure there's no, there's no like hidden items on these ledges, is there? I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Let's go all the way up, all the way up. Now, I don't know. Just throw a five on and see what happens. I think it's going to take it way too high, right? Yep. So, whoa. Let's not fall to our death. Holy cow. Uh, how much does this want to change? Looks like two levels, so I'm ultimately going to want a three. Okay, and you can see the, that the three is there. That's why they highlight it in red. Okay, putting the one on is not going to help, but I can then take the five off, which should get me up to the second highest level here, which I guess means I can put a four on and then take the one off. 
Which should, whoops, I could have just stayed on it. That should bring me to that three level, yep. Yeah. So, where is that right? Oh, come on, this ladder's being a pain. <laughs> All right, uh, down one. Down one there. So then we want, what, two and remove four? Oh no. I want two and a one, I guess. So yeah, because I want three total. So, where are we? Come on, come on with this ladder. There we go. I go here. Okay, that doesn't help. Oh yeah, there's a three. So we just put the three on, and we take the two off. And then, if I'm not stupid, which is quite a distinct possibility, then we get the cogwheel on the correct level. So, there we go. Guess that's not so bad. Just using the weights to balance it out and get the cogwheel in there. And I assume that's gonna, what, open the door? No? Maybe it doesn't open the door? What does it do? Um... Did it drop this? I'm very confused. It's not that. I probably should have looked at what happened when I put the cogwheel in. Did it open this back up? Oh, no. No. I don't have to... I know I needed a cogwheel in the elevator over there, but there's no way that I have to go through the maze with a cogwheel, because you can't jump while you're holding a cogwheel. So, let me just double check. Um, can I carry a cogwheel to the moving platform and send it to the far side? Excuse me? Carry the cogwheel to the moving platform. Oh, is that... Where is that? And carry a cogwheel to the moving platform. Jump across the... And, okay. Do we see a moving platform anywhere? Is that this whole thing? Must be this, right? Set that down. Pull this. Okay, there we go. So we do have to go back through the... The, uh maze one more time here, but we can put the, um, yeah, there we go, put the cogwheel on there, and then we send it across. And now we have to do the turbine puzzle of death again. Ooh, whoa, 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 why is it pushing me so much? What on earth? I'm, like, lagging through the fins. Okay, that was weird. All right, let's drink our water, make sure we don't start Dying of thirst in the middle of this. See, we're getting stuck on it too. This is feeling weird. But uh, just go for it. Crouch, jump, 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 crouch, jump, and crouch. Stand up at the end here. Jump, wait, jump, good, go down. This one, we get to the edge, stay crouched, we wait, we go up and up. There we go. This one was not very difficult. Ooh, ooh, Jesus. Okay, as soon as I say that, um, I guess I can't get through there. I have to, what I have to go, it's gonna make me go around the long way. What the, okay, tell me I didn't just clip through the floor there. What the heck was that? Something weird is going on. I swear. Um, alright, well, let's go again. I go under, up, under under, jump, uh, jump and under, jump, jump, and jump, and under, and jump, jump, oh, what am I getting stuck on, okay, go under, stand up, go forward, this one we just wait, and we clear the whole thing in one go, this one we go to the edge, we stay crouched, we wait, and then we jump, and go like that, and this time we go quickly, and then we crouch, and then we wait, then we go up and crouch. Now we wait. And then we go up and over and boom. And there we go. There's our cogwheel. Can I reach it from here? Excuse me? Please? Can I reach without... Um, 
Hello? I can't reach without falling off the ledge. Oh, there it is. Okay, phew. Okay, cool. Now I can put the cogwheel in. And I guess go up on the elevator. All right, and then what is what is next here? Is this even where we want to be? Ah, uh, yes. So this door I should be able to open now. We have a shortcut back, so we never have to go through that turbine puzzle again, thank God. Another coin. Now I'm going to need to stack crates to get through here, so... Uh, we need a stack of one... Where am I going? We need one, three, five. Whoops. Okay, I guess I can't take the crate that far. So... Where the heck am I trying to go from here? Maybe it's not here, maybe it's... Oh, it must be here. So that's easy enough. Guess it doesn't have to be pretty. Is this stack too? Yeah, okay. One, three. Uh oh, that worked. Uh oh, something's happening. It sounds like boss music or something. What? What is going on? I'm scared. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, he's throwing... ...exploding stuff at us. I need to get to where he is to make it stop, I think. How am I gonna get up here? Oh, I have to climb up there, I think. Okay, I mean, I could just shoot him with a bow, you would think, but I guess that doesn't work, so we're gonna need lots of crates. Hunger and thirst are getting low. This is probably where that healing cell is gonna come in handy, too. Uh, but let's quickly eat and drink, so I don't even have to worry about it. At any point at all during this. That's gonna be fine. Let's get our salve back on. Okay, um... I need more crates. I don't know how much damage this red stuff's gonna do if I stand on it. Hopefully it doesn't even come to that. There's three, four. Oh. Okay, that wasn't so bad, but... Okay, it ticks for quite a bit, too. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. It's everywhere. What am I supposed to do? There's five. Alright, gotta find more crates. One back here. Oh, jeez. Dodge this red stuff. You know, this is like the most combat intensive this game has been at any point. Feels like a whole other game all of a sudden. Okay, go like this. Grabbing these coins, because why not? I see more coins. More importantly, more crates under here. Okay, I'm just gonna run through quickly. Oh, God. I can't pick that up. Oh, I can. I can sneak it from the back. There's three. I just need one more now. And this should do it from back here. I may need to use this healing cell if I'm not careful, but I think we can get stuck as we try to jump around. Uh, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, and we're up. Chop, 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 chop. <laughs> Didn't work. Right, well, we got the warehouse key now, so that's probably the next next area to go. And the electric zipline tool, so uh, we can head out here, it looks like. And figure out where we have to go next. So I guess we'll loop around this way. Okay, so the warehouse key just gets us in here. I have no idea where... Ah, I can kick this ladder down for a shortcut to go back. And then... Oh, Lord. 
What on earth is going on in here? Give me one second to figure it out before we just run in. So, next up. Um, this is the last chance to return to the raft before the combat sections begin. Hmm. Kind of want to return to the raft. Play it safe, but I'm good on hunger and thirst. And I have salve with me, so I think I'm just going to go for it. So, can't open any of this. I think I just have to drop down and go for it. Let me make sure I know what I have to do here before I run in with all the hyenas. So, um, there's three hyenas, but they'll always respawn if all three are dead. So, we should kill two and then just avoid the third. I'll need to dodge his bombs. I will need to stack the crates six, four, two, climbing up to Olaf to cause him to flee. And then we move on to the next section. So, um, where do we need to go? I don't know where Olaf even is. Let's jump down and see. It must be just up there. Let's get rid of two hyenas. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Come on. I don't know which is which at this point. I guess I could just kind of keep dodging him for a little bit. So I need six, four, and two. A little creepy hyena eyes in the cages there. Ah. Right, that one's done. One of these other ones is done. Oh boy, there's the bombs. So if I leave this last hyena up, then no more should spawn. Oh jeez. But I have to hit him to get him to stop pulling me. Uh, why don't I go ahead and use a salve? That didn't work. Jump, jump, jump. Oh gosh. Let's use this salve. Oh, that heals for a lot. Okay, that's good to know. Keep stacking these. Oh no, that bomb is going to go off under me. Oh no. I need three more crates to be stacked. One here. Just keep dodging hyenas. Keep dodging hyenas. Oh boy, oh boy. Two more crates. All we got to do. Keep dodging. No, no. Oh. Christ. Jeez, I might die here. This is wild. Compared to the rest of this game, like, combat's almost just like cosmetic. Oh, you're never really in danger. This is intense. Right, but this should be the last crate. So if I stack this here, jump. Oh my gosh, you got me from. Oh my gosh! What the frick? They're, they're getting me from on top of the crates. Oh, and this isn't tall enough. Somehow. Oh yeah, because that needs to be six. But I wasn't able to get the sixth up until I put another one down, so... Okay. Jeez. Use our salve. Climb up, put the last one there. That should be enough. Okay, thank god. No, I want to loot those hyenas for the meat and the hide, but those other hyenas down there, I don't want to... They already broke all my armor. Let's grab this crate. That's going to have food in it, which we're, seems like we're going to need. These big, scary hyenas in these cages. Open this door. So we have a, so we have a way back in. I got this crate, a bunch of items for the raft. Another crate with some more items. Open that door. I guess we're good on food and hunger. Our health is okay. We're burning through these salves. There's two more coins here. And where do we go next? We go up. I guess we go up, up and up and up. Oh boy. This looks scary. 
you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save. Maybe that's a good idea. So if worse comes to worse, we could just reload. How's that for an idea? Hopefully it doesn't come to that, but... Um, Alright, Alpha Hyena is the next boss fight. Um, he'll create a pool of acid when I hit him. He'll throw meat down. He's immune to damage while he's eating. And then he'll either charge, jump three times, and drop pools, or throw out a rock and leave a line of acid. He's a lot of health, but my weapons don't degrade while hitting it. So, I guess that's it. I guess we just go fight it. Let's get our machete. Oh, let's get ready to fight the alpha hyena. A survivor. You see, the weak are singled out. The strong remain. You forward scouts were the same. You build the get a free hit in here. From nothing. You keep going. Nope. Until you encounter something stronger. Alpha in position. Kill! All right, here we go. Oh, jeez. Dropping acid pools every time I hit them. So trying to dodge and still move. Okay, now he eats the meat. He's immune to damage right now while he's eating, and then he does one of three attacks. Oh, jeez. What do I do? I can't attack, I can't do anything. Okay, there we go. Keep hitting him, keep dodging the acid. Just staying out of his attack range. Okay, he's eating again, he's immune. And then here comes the big attack next. Oh, he's gonna throw that at me. I need a line of acid. Oh, jeez. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's gonna throw three rocks. Oh gosh, where am I supposed to stand now? I'm gonna run out of room, I guess. Is he eating again? Yeah, he's eating again. Let's see if I can get over here. There's a bit more room. Whoa. He lunges. He drops a large pool. Oh, he does it again. And one more time. I gotta salve. Make sure I'm fully healthy. Oh, boy. Keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. Gotta find a safe spot here. There we go. He's eating again. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Get out of the acid. It's gonna jump at me. No? Oh, okay. It's gonna breathe on me. Oh, okay. I just hope he's low on health. I don't know how many times I have to hit this guy. Okay, he's eating. I'm just gonna salve, screw it, and stay at full health. I don't even wanna risk it at this point. I dodge the rocks. Let's try to beat the rocks on top of each other so it doesn't take up as much space. Keep hitting them. Keep dodging. Okay, he's eating again and he's gonna do another attack. I'm losing like a quarter health on each phase. He's jumping, he's dropping big puddles. Let's try to keep them all over here. Last jump. Good. Now I can start hitting him again. There we go. Come on, a few more hits. <gasps> I did it. Okay. Wow. All right. That was actually really intense as far as any anything in this game has gone. It's been a pretty chill game. That was actually pretty intense. That, that was almost like a like a real boss fight there. But we take him out, get his crazy looking head, and I guess that's it. But we can now go through here. Call the elevator. Head up. Go up the elevator. Get back. There's nothing you can do. And there is Olaf. I just wonder what happens. Okay, absolutely nothing. Oh well, it's worth a shot. Oh, no. <laughs> Couldn't save my tribe. He actually didn't fall very far, huh? Let's see. Can we go out this way? Yep. And there he is. Get his key. There's my arrow that missed. What do we do? We just leave him here? 
Guess so. Ah, there's our titanium tools blueprint. Awesome. A few more coins as well. And what do we do now? Filthy rafters. I guess I don't have to do anything with him. Uh, oh, here's the elevator, so I assume we're going to go back down and free the people. Some nice elevator music. Alright, now we can open up this door. Get this coin. And let's see. Okay, so we're right over here now. Our raft is right over there. And we should be able to open the makeshift prison and free all the people inside. Hey, there we go. An actual cutscene. When cut the ocean scene. itself broke civilization, the survivors were left with nothing. Yet, they persisted. The forward scouts rose up from the wreckage, defied our flooded world, and brought back hope. Now Utopia stands free once again, thanks to their actions. With this final chance, we can begin the slow and difficult road to recovery. From today on, we are all forward scouts, ready to discover the next step for humanity. Looks like we can trade coins for some stuff, some unique items, a um, bunch of fruit here. I guess I could just come here and get free fruit from now on or something. That's useful, I'm just <laughs> stealing all their fruit after they set up this nice society here. I just come in and steal it all, but um, all kinds of stuff. Potatoes, huh, that's kind of cool. Some more coins. So I guess that's what was in the vending machine, it's like these little hanging herbs and chilies and such. So I'll probably buy those. Let's see how many coins I have left over. 44. Yeah, I've been stockpiling a lot of them, so... Um, oh no, inventory's full though, so... Get rid of the blueprints, get rid of the stone arrows. Um, I don't really need the baked potatoes. Just go ahead and eat that for the heck of it. Um, I don't need a rope. I don't need a rope. I have so much rope. Um, let's buy one of each of these. Since they are new and unique and cool, we can go check those out on the raft in a minute. There we go. And... Can I place these here? No, I'm just pointing as if I could, but I can't. Um... Ooh. Raw salmon. Oh, that's awesome, dude. So this is like end game now. You don't even have to worry about food anymore, I guess. You just come here and get as much as you want. That's really cool. Um... I don't even know why I picked all this up, though. I don't really need it, but the salmon's awesome. I don't know. I don't even know how high salmon stack. Uh, are these, are these mackerel? Oh, nice. So I don't even have to fish for mackerel anymore uh, to make the barbecue. I could just come here and... I assume it's like the other islands. If you sail away and come back, everything respawns. So that would be awesome. I don't need the baked potatoes. I'll take the mackerel, though. Give me all the mackerel to make the barbecue so I don't even have to fish for it anymore. More salmon. Excellent source of food. Very cool. Um, just looking around, seeing what else is here. I guess it's just kind of like this main little marketplace area. And then I'm going to talk to all the people. So these are all the people that, as we went through the other story islands, we found those notes, which honestly, you know, not to crap on this game or whatever, I do really like this game, but the, the story of it does feel awfully disjointed at times, and it's just kind of told through all these little notes. Um... But the notes, I assume, are, are written by all of these characters. So these are all characters that we've heard from in the notes, and now they're actually here, and we can talk to them. So I'm going to go through and talk to them all and see what they have to say. 
Wow! How could this possibly have happened? A mysterious army dude appears with rabid hyenas in cages, and everyone just goes along with it. I don't think I can say I told you so enough. He saw that coming. He thought a random army dude with rabid hyenas was going to show up. It's kind of weird. The turbines are still working. Wonderful. Ruben went to check up on the system straight away. Without him, he'd still be using candles every night. It would be nice if we had a proper reactor. Like, on Tangaroa. Maybe one day. Alright, maybe we go check out the rest after, see if, like, the farm and turbine area is doing this anything. Place Here's is Vanessa. A mess. There's hyena hair everywhere. It'll take days to clean up the towers. I hope the council makes Olaf clean it up himself. Okay, a bit of a princess, I guess. Uh, Oliver Those here. Hyenas were so rude. Yeah, they're hyenas, dude. We had to deal with an endless ocean. Now there's these rabid animals also. Ugh, I'm so tired of this. Oh, right, of course. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, that sounded very genuine. You're, you're welcome for saving you from the random hyenas that appeared for no reason, there apparently. There's something deeply wrong with those hyenas. I lived on Temperance for a bit. As a researcher, Olaf's uh. hyenas seem to be afflicted by some kind of rapid mutation. I'll be sure to investigate on behalf of the council. Oh, they're moving around. So, let me talk to them all before they all switch positions and I forget who I did and didn't talk to. Oh, more salmon back here. Nice. Got Johan. So unlucky. I fled Tangaroa during the riots. <sighs> Such a crazy day. Then I found Utopia. And this whole thing happened. I just want to tend to a garden in peace. <sighs> Maybe I can do that now. There's that whole garden area over there. That would be cool if you filled we it in owe with crops. Our future to you. Grateful doesn't even begin to describe it. There you go. Best dialogue so far. You're welcome. It's been many hours. 30, 40 plus hours to save you all, so... You're you're quite welcome, lady. No one ever oh, here's Ditto. Maybe they'll listen after this. That's Ditto's little farm over there that we did with the little farm puzzle. This all oh, here's Bruno. He had a lot of notes. Type. Doesn't have much to say though. Um, oh, there's more vending machines here. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff. All right, we'll check that out in a second. Let me finish talking to the people. It's okay. over now. But boy, I talked to close. Isaac already. I tried to deal with those hounds at first, but there were too many of them. We're lucky no one got seriously hurt. Oh, this. It's just a scratch. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, no. He's going to turn into a zombie, a rabid zombie hyena, and that's going to be Raph, too. Whoa! How could oh, okay, Max. Yeah, we heard from you. We, you, knew, you knew the hyenas were coming. See what's left of the world. Mm, it's not much. Not much left out there, but. And. Toshiro. All the credit in the world. You know, I was almost a forward scout myself. Ended up working in a town instead. But I'll tell you, I'm really good at building rafts. I used to build boats before the flood. It wasn't as fun, if I'm honest. Rafts are magical in their own way. Don't you agree? I agree, and it's not just because I spent 40 hours on one. I uh, spoke to mess. Vanessa already. Yeah, she's the princess, and Lisa is new, I think. I'm still a bit in shock. Good job dealing with that Olaf fella. Let's make sure it doesn't happen again, okay? Okay, that seems more up to you guys than me, but... Speak you. to Zanaya? Don't know what we would have done without you. How do you Thank know me? Thank you, forward scout. We can go back to normal now. Okay. Um, I think that's everyone, except for Olaf himself. Are you happy now? These idiots won't get anything done. They'll starve soon, and so will you. That seems like disorganized. Seems like they're in pretty good shape, man. I don't know. You need a strong leader, not these weaklings. This is what I get for trusting my okay. army. If you have to do something. I wonder how many times I can keep talking to him. Don't have the guts to rule. It's the same story over and over again. The floating city project, Vasa Gotham, Tangaroa, failures brought on by weak mm. spirits and undisciplined men. You may have a point there. Nothing but be 
And all those uh, other story islands that we went to that were all abandoned. Well, the world wasn't underwater before. Okay, that's the end of the dialogue. He's just gonna keep repeating this now. Oh. Okay, he's gonna keep talking. I spent a fortune on Tangaroa. Every expert told me we were on schedule. How do you explain that? Lazy workers. Lazy, stupid workers. Okay. Majority share Bit harsh, maybe. City project, Seemed Tango like a pretty nice city when I was there. If we hadn't made it out to sea, like the other cities. No, that wasn't an option. I did not abandon Tangaroa. Man, this guy has a lot to say, huh? <laughs> I guess the whole story kind of revolves around him. Okay, well that was just a big yacht, so that seemed easy. His heart seems like it's kind of in the right place, just... ...means don't maybe justify the end. None of them were ready for reality. There's only food for one. We have to go. The hyenas of caravan town. Yeah, she's walking us through the whole story, I guess. She's just gonna keep going. Discipline is unrivaled. And I only got a few more off that barren rock. There were no hyenas at Caravan Island when we were there. If you hadn't interfered, I would be out there reinstating law and order. Have you ever done anything of such importance? Yeah, man, I saved the day. Yes. <laughs> we all heard about the failure of the forward scouts. Those naive idiots couldn't even beat the waves. What? You think you're any different? Look at these people. They have no control. <laughs> you just gonna keep no going, power. huh? <laughs> Hoping to hit an end to the dialogue here. <laughs> I got other stuff to do. These idiots won't get anything done. They'll starve soon. I, I will, because I'm sitting here listening to you talk forever. Okay. I think, it, I think it's looped back around to the start of the dialogue again, right? This is how he started talking. He's just going generic now. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, we've heard, we've heard everything out of him. Um, Alright, so... It's all the dialogue from all the people here. I think these guys just say the same thing every time. Oh, Larry, I didn't even see you back here. I mean, he was walking around before. I didn't think I saw anyone sitting better there. At reading people. In hindsight, yes, Olaf did seem a bit maniacal. Don't worry. I'm disappointed in myself, too. Okay. So there's the there's the story Raph finally pieced together, I guess. There was, uh, you know, this flood or something, and I guess people knew it was coming, so they tried to tried to build these, these various cities or settlements or ways to survive, and... Uh, I guess Olaf was a big part of it. You know, tried to uh, make sure everything got done. But uh, it was maybe a little crazy and led to a lot of issues that led to people having to abandon all the different cities and they all ended up here. Which seems like a pretty nice place, I guess, as long as the water doesn't keep rising. But uh, there you go. Now we got all these other cosmetic items here too, which are just like charms. Some more plants. Um, I want to bring some of this back with me. So what don't I really need? I don't need the vegetable soup. I can just eat it. I do need water, though. So why don't I drink that? And then, I guess I don't really need the hook. I can eat this. I want to get this dream catcher. That looks cool. Put that above my bed on the raft. This is, these other charms I don't really care too much about. These look like weird floating glowing bottles. That seems kind of cool. Why don't I get those? I'd like to see all of them, but I don't really have the inventory space for it. I guess I don't need, like, the resources anymore if I'm not going to do a lot more building. I kind of want to just check out the new unique items, but uh, I certainly don't need the beets. I guess I don't need the coconuts either. So that gives me two more spots. Why don't we get a plant? And... Another plant? Alright. <laughs> so that's it. The only thing we're missing are these five charms. And I guess the bottles in this plant. I'm not gonna 
have space for? Do I even have coins? Yeah, I have a, definitely have enough coins for them. Uh, but we got all of these things. So, I mean, if you really, really want to see what these things look like, just let me know in the comments. I could always just boot up the save at any point in the future, quickly buy these things, place them on the boat, and just upload a unlisted video and give you a link if you really want to see what they all look like. But you can at least check out all of that stuff. So, I think that's everything here. Again, I don't know if, um... Like, any of the other areas... Got extra stuff going on now. But I guess we'll see as we head back, so... Let's head back to the raft. I think it's right there. There is our raft. So we can jump down here and then take a peek over. Yeah, like, there's the farm area. Doesn't look like there's anything different really going on there. So I guess we could... Whoa. <laughs> Almost fall to our death right at the end of the game. That would be quite an, quite an ending. Um, yeah, we could just go... That's not our raft. Okay, but it doesn't, doesn't look like there's anything new there either. So I was just curious if people were inhabiting any of these other areas. But I think it's just that one little market area that has everybody and, and the food and the trading post and all that. Which I should have shortcuts unlocked to if I ever want to go back there. But that takes care of Utopia. So let's just do the last little bit of stuff here. So I'm going to place these cosmetic items. I have this dream catcher. Actually, I, got, I have two of them, so why don't we do that? Double double potency there. Those look cool. I do like those. Um, what else did we get? We got some plants. Why don't we put one there? That looks about right. And put another one over here. To hide the hide the scent from the outhouse that I can use, but nothing happens. Uh, a couple more plants. I guess one of them can look good there, and another one... Mm, you know what? It's just gonna go right there. That's a cool plant, little kind of tree-looking thing. Um, these things, I was really curious to see these light bottles. So I assume it lights up at night. But I don't know. Um, why don't we put one there? Kind of weird, just having one there, but... That's kind of cool. I guess it'll glow. Oops. Go up here. Put another one there. And then we have this style of light bottle, too. Which I think I'm just going to kind of deck out my... My little sad, lonely, single man's... <laughs> eating dinner by himself in his lonely raft world area, is what I'm going to call this from now on, I guess. Um, so that's cool. And then, ah, darn, I was hoping I could hang this stuff from the the sides, but it only hangs from the ceiling. I guess I could do, like, like a bunch of dried herbs hanging from the ceiling type of look. Eh, I don't know how I feel about that. Because then it would make sense, like, this attic, you know, is, is for, like, drying my herbs and stuff, and I also just happen to sit up here and hang out and whatnot, but... I just think they kind of clutter the already limited space a little bit too much, so let's stick those somewhere else. Um, they do have to go... You know, I could just hang them from the edge here, I think would look kind of cool. So why don't we do... Whoops. Like this, and then we can kind of alternate. What did I get? Four, six different kinds of them? Oh, whoa, this one does like a whole... whole chain chain of herbs. That one's kind of cool. That's another single one there. And then the other two were these. Should go like one and two. And then why don't we do like reverse order? One and two. And then the chain. And then it was... Whoops. I already messed up. So it goes... Uh, which one was it? This one? Dangly purple thing? And then the chain. And then the purple and the red. So like this, and like 
That. Okay, that's kind of cool. Makes our raft look a little more lively, and I like that when you're at the cooking station now here, you have all these herbs. That looks real cool, actually. I like that a lot. Um, so that's cool. And then, why don't we actually throw some fish on the grill? Store the rest of the fish in there. Um, you know what I'm going to do real quick? I can store the head, I can store all of this stuff. I'm going to need my titanium in just a second here. Let me go ahead and store the fruit. I think this chest is full. Yes, that's my shovel chest. So the cassette, I guess, can go... Well, you know what? Which chest was it? This one. This can be like the new kind of like cosmetic item chest. And then leather wants to go in there. Scrap goes away. Planks away. And I have this nice salmon to cook for later. Then I have this cool hyena head. And I guess... Why don't I do a shark head? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make quickly two trophy boards. So we need some nails. That's fine. Two boards. These actually might go on the outside. It would be kind of cool. I was thinking on the inside here. But I'm actually thinking the outside might be even cooler. If we do like one there and one there. And then we can do... I want to see what this looks like for sure. Ooh. That's kind of cool and it glows. I wonder if it glows at night. And the shark head. So that is, uh, the shark is called Bruce, is the name of the shark in this game. And this one is the Alpha... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> this is such a pain. You gotta do it in like two goes. Oh, it's not working. Okay, I guess it's gonna... Oh, because it's not a sign, because it's a... Yeah, that's fine. Let's just say Alpha Hyena like that. That looks cool. I like that. Um, all right, that takes care of that. And then the other thing I wanted to do, I wanted to make these new these new blueprints so I can learn up here um, all this stuff. So what do we got? Titanium arrow. Electric zipline tool, titanium sword, titanium hook, and titanium axe. And that got us an achievement, the bookworm achievement for researching everything possible to research. Um, so we got our titanium in here. Why don't we just take it out for now? And then look at our tools. We're going to need a rope, which I know we have plenty of somewhere in our very, very disorganized raft. And planks like that. So we need an axe, a hook. And, oh yeah, a sword. So that takes some scrap. There we go. And I might as well make a few arrows as well. So, why don't we take 12 feathers? Make two, well, I guess we should make a little more than that. Probably like 24. Well, let's just do that and then more planks because it stacks to 30 so and we have more titanium in here actually let's go in there there you go 30 that's a full stack so we have our bow oh you can see the titanium tip on the arrow there it looks a little different than the metal one so that's cool put our feathers away now we have the axe, and the hook, and the sword. So there's the axe. Uh, it is just as quick as the metal axe, but it has more durability. Looks really cool. Uh, the hook looks, again, really cool. It can go, I believe, even farther. Wow, that goes really far out, I think, compared to the regular metal hook. And it has way more durability. Also mines a lot faster for metal and copper, which is cool. And then the sword. 
which looks badass. And that does the most damage of any weapon in the game, along with the titanium arrows. Does the same amount of damage as the titanium arrows. So that's really cool. I guess I could just stash the extra tools in there. I don't really need them. So there you go. Full set of titanium weapons. That's what we could make for the weapons. And then the last thing was the... I want to make a zip line, so check this out. I'm going to grab the planks, and I'm going to make a zip line. And then, what is it, a tool maybe? No? What is it? A zip line tool. Okay, so I just need a circuit board. I'm just going to take some extra plastic here. There we go. And then we should be able to make our electric zip line tool. So that can go on there. That is a charge on it, so I guess once it runs out of charge, you have to replace it. Um, the regular one had its own durability anyway, so... Let's put this stuff away, keep our inventory clear for once. You know what, Rope, you get to go in there. And feathers away. Now, what I think I can do... I put, like, the zip line here. What do I, do I need two of them and I need to connect them? It says start dragging rope. I think I need, I think I need to make one more. So, I've actually never done this, so let's see. Um, zip line, I just need rope. There we go. Rope away, planks away. Now if I go... It doesn't really matter where it goes, I just want to kind of see how it works, but... If I go up here... Put one there, and then I can drag the rope from this zip line over to this zip line. Now I should be able to with my electric zip line tool. Okay, well, that sounded crazy, but uh, it didn't actually do anything. So I guess I'm getting stuck on this, maybe. Oh yeah, I can ride it up. There you go. So now you can go up zip lines with the electric tool instead of just going down. And you can slide down here. So it doesn't really work with the antenna in the way. I have to like jump and then do it. Oh, which I failed at pretty miserably there, but uh, can do like this. Slide on up, get another nice little vantage point up here with the flag. So that's cool. So titanium tools, electric zip line. Got the big backpack as well from this area. Uh, looks like the sprinklers haven't been working for a while, so I'm just gonna replace those real quick. And there we go. And then I have a feeling the water pump down there is probably gonna want a new one too. So let's take this new one just real quick. Keep everything all topped up and happy. Yeah, that one's only like 50%, but that one tends to go a little bit quicker than the others, so get those charging. Um, yeah, and then there you go. So take a quick look at the raft. That glowing hyena head is pretty sick, and you can see those bottles do light up at night. So that all looks very, very cool. Very illuminated in here. Nice little house on our raft. The fruits of all of our labors. A little chill area up here. Can watch the world go by. And glitch through the roof. But after we glitch through the roof, we can take our fancy new zip line down. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be it. So that is it for this playthrough. Um, you know, the, the game is not over over. Like you can keep playing indefinitely. Take these titanium tools, sail around, find more islands, get more resources, keep building the raft. I mean, you could make it huge, and I mean, you could you could like turn it into like a sh like a ship, you know, because you can just build walls and, and different shapes. Um, so you could really build it into anything. You could build it into like a floating city if you wanted. Um, so all that is available to be done at this point. It pretty much just becomes like a creative endeavor, though. Um, so this has been, you know, the main playthrough of the game, going through all of the story islands to unlock all of the different blueprints so that we're able to build, you know, every item that is able to be made 
Uh, there's like a couple items, you know, cosmetic dress-up items that I didn't buy from the trading post, but we got everything else. Unlocked all the decorations. We made almost all of them and showed them off in the house here. Um, you know, we got our electric grill. We got our uh, cooking station, our juicer, our advanced water purifier with our water tank feeding up into our sprinklers. Uh, with our animals that are all powered by the advanced batteries that are charged by the wind turbine. Our animals that are giving us resources for cooking and for biofuel, which we make with our advanced biofuel refiners into our fuel tanks, into our engines. Also along with the honey and farm crop setup to make more biofuel, to make more recipes. Um, you know, our compactors for trading cubes, our engine controls to get around and control the anchor, the engines, everything from right here, steering, um, <laughs> our storage that definitely needed to be improved and never got improved, but at least I roughly know where things are, so it was functional if nothing else. And um, the electric smelters, all of the necessary systems to be able to create anything that you want and survive in this world for as long as you need to, so um, definitely uh, an efficient and self-sustaining system at this point. Again, could continue to sail around, you know, find more islands, do more digging. There's like a big tiki you can build, I believe, if you do a little more exploring with the metal detector. Uh, get more cosmetic items, you know, build out the raft, make it look like whatever you want. Um, do all kinds of crazy stuff, but that is the bulk of the game. That is unlocking everything. That is completing all the story, unlocking all the items, building all the items, all the systems, uh, showing you how it's done. So um, that's that's going to be it for now. So um, do hope you enjoyed if you've been watching along at all, if you've been watching along from the start, or if you've just been jumping in and out and checking various portions out. I hope you did find it enjoyable, and I do appreciate you uh, watching. If you did enjoy, uh, you know, please consider subscribing. This has been a 26 video playthrough. It's been a lot of time, a lot of effort, um, you know, recording, editing, rendering, you know, getting everything uploaded, thumbnails, all that. And, um, you know, it's the only time in that whole process that I've asked for anyone to subscribe. But uh, I will ask once if you have been watching and if you're still somehow listening to this weird rambly outro at the end of a almost 40 hour playthrough. Um, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe. If you'd like to see more content like this, uh, it would help me out a lot. Uh, but only do it if you actually enjoyed it and if you actually want to see more stuff like this, because that is the indication that you do, and that would motivate me to continue, you know, making playthroughs of games like this. Otherwise, um, you know, either way, appreciate you watching, and you can uh, stay tuned for more content of other games anyway. But that's all for now. I'm just thinking if there's any other, like, last-minute notes that I want to include. But at this point, I don't think anyone's even listening anyway. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. There's Raft. There's the game. I had a lot of fun doing it, so I hope you had fun watching it. And uh, hope to see you around. Take care. Peace.